Thank you. I just drove from Phoenix, Arizona to Las Vegas, immediately found a place to park my van and walked to the first poker room I could find. Three, five. The Venetian 3-5 table with a buy-in of $500. This is my very first game. Let's see how it goes down. Is it 5 or 10? 5. 9-6 off suit. No good. Need to fold. 9-3 suited. The board is all face cards. I have absolutely dog shit of a hand right now. Let's bet $10. I win the blinds. Ace, four, offsuit. On the button, I'm raising pre-flop to $10. I win the blinds again. Looks like we got a bunch of scaredy cats at this table. Seven, four, offsuit. No good, need to fold. King, queen, offsuit. Ha <laughs> now we're talking. We gotta fold. Next guy limps in for $5. So I raise it to $10. Guy to the left, three betting me to $30. What? Then there's a fold. Then there's a fold on the button. Small blind and big blind. Under the gun plus one calls. It's now 20 more dollars for me to see the flop. With King Queen, I call. Now we have $98 in this pot. That's one fifth of all of my chips at the table. Flop comes out. King of Diamonds, Five of Hearts, Queen of Spades. I paired the top two cards on the flop. Opener checks. I bet 25 on the flop. Cut off folds. Back to the checker. He literally rolls in a $25 chip as a call. There's now a total of $148 in the pot. The turn comes. Eight of Spades for a backdoor flush. No help on the straight draw. Unlikely to improve any hand. Opener checks confirming the eight did nothing. I put even more pressure on my opponent with a $75 bet, half the pot. This dude is now shook. Just taking a sweet time, which tells me that he don't got shit. He finally calls me $75, making a total of $298 in this pot. The river card comes. It's an eight of diamonds. Crap, that's a pair on the board. Don't let that scare you. Dude couldn't be hanging in this hand with a pair of eights. Chasing a third on the river. That's insane. Who would do that? He's got nothing. I take a deep breath and I bet $130 on the river, almost doubling up the price of my last bet. At this point, the dude is taking forever to respond. He's shuffling his chips for no other reason than to waste all of our time and make me sweat bullets. There's now $428 in this pot, and if he calls, the total pot would be $558. What is he going to do? He calls. Does two pair hold up? And it does. Just like that, I made $322 off of one hand within the first 30 minutes in Las Vegas. We will never truly know what he had under there. This is just the beginning. Was it a good last hand? Tony, good luck. I'll probably be back sooner than I'm leaving, so... <laughs> So as I was driving up and down the Las Vegas Strip, I stumbled upon an oversized parking lot behind the Mirage, hoping to find a free place to park. Is this, does this cost money? It does, but don't worry about it, bro. Just walk it wherever. Ain't nobody gonna stop you. You good. I mean, this seems extremely sketchy, but we're gonna try this out. My bad, bro. I just need a signature down here. That's it. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah. Dude, did you see that? Yeah. I just parked here for free. Look at this. Yeah, so, so I'm like behind the Treasure Island by the Mirage. I'm telling you, this van life thing is the best thing I've ever done. You remember the rock band I was in? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I do remember that. You were wearing shorts. Yeah, the drummer uh, lives in Vegas. Was he your friend here from Rochester? Representing the Rochester Institute of Technology, Earth, Wind, and Centaur. He's into venture capitalism. Oh my goodness. You have a barber shop? Yeah. They want to do a club called JP Goes Bonkers. But there are two TV networks we were going to try to work with. You know, we might even have a show called JP Goes Bonkers. Or... You got me kidding. I have a dinner plan at a Wolfgang Puck restaurant that's new in Mandalay Bay. Hey! Hey, how are you? Hey, how's it going? Mandalay Bay, why does that sound weird? It's one of the resorts in Vegas. He's the GM over here at Spago. Hey, good to see you. Hey, good hey, to you see you. It's going to be pretty, uh, like, high-end Italian cuisine. I'm, I'm just excited to eat the food. To be honest with you. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it. Where he lives, they have like the coolest community center. How nice to reconnect with somebody. The best news out of all of this is they got so much free snacks. 
They have beer? Yeah, they got beer too. Oh my gosh. I like these. Okay, yeah. Fiji water, fruit snacks, razors, pickleball courts, arcade, in a movie theater. Being here is demotivating me to work. Like, I don't want to do this show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> With free concessions. I could just go in there, get free ice cream, pool, ping pong table. That's so much grass. They have their own grocery store. They got dry age fridge. Oh, I didn't notice that. Imagine a complimentary dry age ribeye. Wait a minute, now you have to live in that community for that to happen. Well, in any of these little areas called comfort stations, there's plethora of food where there's literally like a person that's just standing in this room they're called npcs in video games waiting to serve you when you walk in serve you what whatever you want i don't know why when i came to visit you i was expecting like university commons <laughs> <laughs> it'd be like a gamer rocker chair on like a dirty carpet like that's <laughs> I don't know. You know what's so ironic about this? Here I am like so happy about the planet that is showered. I'm seeing these showers and I'm just like, oh, this is lovely. Like, that's a life I didn't really need to see, but I'm there. <laughs> like, a van in juxtaposition. Oh, it's actually like legit. Yeah, propane. It's always it, there's cool. showers there? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a lot of storage, too. Wow. I can't believe you love this thing. <laughs> and I love the van, so I'm actually, I actually like the van more. I don't need all that space. So uh, I got some good. I got some uh, really cool news. I got a. I got a Vegas show. You got Vegas show? Yeah. We're at Vegas. But it doesn't sound as awesome when you say I got a show in Vegas off the strip at someone's house on the street. <laughs> but I got a Vegas show. So. What up? Come around the other side. Yes, yeah, see, that's my van right there. Yo. Yeah, it's been great living in it. A dude that looks like you cannot be saying, wanna come in my van. I know, right? <laughs> when Coda got here, I was yeah. just like, hey, do you wanna come in my van or is that creepy? <laughs> <laughs> you want a drink? <laughs> hey, I got some candy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not going back to Austin? Well, yeah, I have to. I got a show. Oh, okay, okay. okay. In San Marcos. It's 8.37, do you want to get it started? I think we should get it started. But actually, I'm meeting with the bookers tomorrow for dinner. They live in Vegas. The bookers live in Vegas. Oh, okay, good. Have you heard of Bonkers? Yeah. And he shows up with his red <laughs> suit. <It's> so <laughs> I got to change, though, also, yeah, just so yeah. you know. Like, I'm not going on stage with this. I am happy to be here because I drove 2,000 miles to perform in front of 15 people. This is awesome. I <laughs> It said it's shy nine feet. You think I'm gonna clear it? You just slowly yeah, creep. They don't want us to do more than eight and a half. There's another location. Oh shit, I know you. Oh, you do? Yeah, you're from the. I've been uh, eating trail mix for the past two weeks, so this is, this is <laughs> real. You're driving across the country doing 
shows and living in his van. So I, I ended up having a show last night. This kid, his name is Coda Hawk. He had me and Chris Clark on his show. I actually did YouTube with Dame Drops and Chris when back in 2014 when I first started. It was like, hey, I can get you another show tonight at the Kimmel's, Jimmy Kimmel's. What's your name again? JP. JP, I don't want to bring you up. You could just say JP. JP? Yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell from the lights, but uh, I'm Italian. <laughs> I'm transitioning, all right? <laughs> I'm all about, I'm at a go, go, go in my life right now. So it's almost like a sabbatical from doing healthy junk food. Taco Bell, y'all really need to put this on the menu, man. Yeah, they really Stop should. The to just like finding me, and it's been the most amazing experience I've ever had. Thank you. Oh, look at that. All right. The mothership, kill Tony. <laughs> I'm putting like all my passion into each video, like the, the elevator restaurant. I live in Vegas now, yeah. I live in the back of the Venetian in a parking lot, my van. <laughs> I don't know if you're a hot mess or living my dream life. For me to sit down and have beef carpaccio and swordfish, filet mignon, ravioli stuffed with bruschetta. It's uh, one of those meals I'll remember forever. Fantastic. Thanks again, thanks well, again. It's good to see you. Yeah, you too. Take care. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Because even if you win, you might get back something that's not what it was. You know what I'm saying? I'm started, I started a new channel. I'll do it twice, because if I can do it twice, that's the biggest win. I will come. I will do it. Uh, hit me up, dude. Let's just keep in touch, dude. I'll be wherever you want me to be, man. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm talking about. Well, the bookers are having me come to breakfast tomorrow because they're meeting with another comic and they're pitching a show. So there's just so much going on right now out here. I had no idea. All right, I'll do, I'll do one, I'll do that. It was 71. If he asks. I mean, it's the minimum wage. Yeah, 150. Well, all right, I'll just, I'll just go all in then. Oh, wow. All right, he didn't say a number, so he said I'll do that. So he's all in.